Nah, I think I'm good. All right, stay out of trouble now. Later, sir. Man, it is, uh... It's crazy to think about. <sighs> like, in RPG games... But games like this... Where there is... So much dialogue. There are so many things that you can ask. The dialogue tree outline would look insane, I I'm sure. And they do this for so many characters in this game. Like, this is an Obsidian game, uh, which, you know, they made New Vegas, The Pillars of Eternity, all that stuff. Uh, did they make... Did they make Tyranny, or was that another studio? What is it? Um, Tyranny game. Was that Obsidian as well? Yeah, it was. Damn, dude. Um... So it's just crazy to think about all of the dialogue in, in these games. Like that they actually had to come up with them and like with just how much dialogue they had to come up with. Yeah, Pillars of Eternity. What's going on? And that's, <laughs> we're only 17 hours in this game and there's like so much dialogue being thrown around. It's crazy. Uh, anyways, let's go in here and see. Because even just that minor character had a lot to say. Oh, damn. I heard a rumor that the administrator met with a Jedi. If that's true, I'll quit. He's laughing. Tarina Adare. A visitor. Please, come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am administrator Tarina Adare. You're the owner of the, um, ship that just landed? Why does she look like Princess Leia? Uh... That ship is one of the fastest in the galaxy. I meant no disrespect at all. It is, in fact, a remarkable vessel. Okay. And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. Oh, yeah, that uh, was, but it's not mine. I'm not a Jedi at all. I prefer to keep that quiet. Jedi don't seem to be like here or practically anywhere these days. Don't tell me you want to collect the bounty. Of course not. I'm trying to stabilize an entire planet. An exchange bounty, no matter how abundant, is little use in that endeavor. But if a Jedi were here, that would best be kept secret, right or wrong. Our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. Hmm. What do you mean by that? I feel I must step carefully here. You are not like other Jedi I have known. You seem darker somehow. Darker somehow. Gee, I wonder why. Also, the light bulb just went on. I know what Jedi they're talking about here. Uh, Master Vruk. Pretty sure. Times have been difficult. I have strayed from the path of light, but I seek to find a way back. Hell no. You would change your appearance too if you were hunted across the galaxy. Uh, okay. Yes, I understand. Say no more. For good or ill, and she already knows. I feel you are the only one remaining who can help me with the present situation, my friend. Let's just call him Frog. We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? Uh, ooh, I can lie... He didn't send me, but I'd like to meet with him. He sent for me. He said you fill me in on the situation when I arrived. Try it. We need the skills of hey. a Jedi more than ever. He was helping investigate Asgul and his mercenaries. But he had his own errand to run in the Enclave. Jedi business of some sort. He went into the sublevel, which isn't without its dangers. And he hasn't returned. 
Uh, what are the dangers of the sub-level? Like many parts of Dantooine, the sub-level of the Enclave has become infested with dangerous creatures. Large, vicious insects called Lagrex have made the sub-level their home. Several salvages have reportedly been injured or killed by the Lagrex. I would expect a Jedi to fare better against the creatures than the salvages. But Vrook has not returned in some time. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? I could use some supplies to ward off the dangers of the ruins or credits. Yeah, I'll see if we can get anything for free, I guess. From what I know of your type, you have all of the equipment you need to deal with the sublevel. I do realize the Jedi Order disbanded, so you must find credits yourself, however. The sublevel is dangerous enough that the salvages have not managed to properly search it. There are many artifacts of value. Normally, I ask for a percentage of all salvage. In your case, however, you can take whatever you find without the customary tie. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave's security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Uh, there's actually a lot. Damn. Uh, what can you tell me about the people of Dantooine? Let's start at the bottom. I always start at the top. Who do you want to know about? There are three groups of people on the planet right now. The settlers, salvagers, and the mercenaries. Okay. Uh, settlers? Dantooine is one of the younger worlds of the Republic. A couple of generations ago, this world was still untamed. We made great progress, in no small part due to the Jedi. But recently, we have been losing ground. During the war, the most prominent settler families either fled or were executed by the Sith. Losing their resources and the Jedi was too great a loss. But now we are organizing and starting to truly work together. Once we achieve that, I am confident that Dantooine can be safe and prosperous again. Ooh, awareness. You don't seem convinced by that. We have, we have a, a high enough awareness uh, to see this dialogue here. No, I suppose I'm not. We need the Republic and always have. We aren't self-sufficient yet and we need aid. The fate of the Telos Project is intimately tied to our own. The most humanitarian elements of the Senate have put their careers at stake in the rebuilding of Telos. If those efforts succeed, their prominence will grow and further aid will be given freely. But if they fail, there are colder, more authoritative elements in the Senate that could come to power. They would think nothing of leaving the strategically unimportant worlds to their own devices. That would be a tragic day for Dantooine and many other worlds. The Republic is in flux. Its final shape is uncertain. Uh, what are salvagers doing on Dantooine? Well, obviously they want the Jedi relics, right? They are a necessary inconvenience. Money has been a great concern to us ever since the Sandrals and Matales were removed. During the Jedi. Ah, oh, yeah. The agricultural exports we produce just cover basic maintenance. To expand and prosper, we needed credits. So we had to exploit a valuable resource we had the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Mm. It was not a decision lightly made. And even then, we couldn't do the work ourselves. Too dangerous. And every settler matters on our small world. So we opened the door to enterprising salvages. The salvages you see now are the last remnants of that force. The tithe we took from their claims sustains what semblance of government you see now. Uh, yeah, the, the Sandros and the Matales. Yeah, uh, we uh, we killed them first game, both of them. It's kind of wild. Uh, what are you going to do when the ruins are empty? We plan on using those credits to improve production and protect our world. We have enough to sustain ourselves until more prosperous times. And he coexists happily with them, the settlers, I mean the salvagers? We tolerate their presence because we must, and they generally follow our laws. But their time is almost over. The Jedi Enclave's sublevel is the only place left with reasonable salvage, and it has too many dangers for them. The salvagers aren't warriors. Generally, they are out-of-work miners or cast-offs from other worlds. Oh, so I, then I should be able to steal from them very easily. Um... What about the mercenaries? Mercenaries have been a problem for Dantooine since the end of the Mandalorian Wars. Yeah. When the Jedi Enclave was here, they were firmly kept in check. But now, relations are uneasy between us. 
Their leader, Asgul, was a Sith trooper during the war, and I have no doubt he was very good at his job. Ooh, okay. Until they find work, tensions will grow. If you want to know more, I suggest you talk with Varun in the militia headquarters. He would have more details. I actually already talked to him. Uh, ask you about something else? Let's see. Do the people of Dantooine really hate the Jedi? To most people in the galaxy, the distinction between Sith and Jedi is a blurry one, especially since most Sith were once Jedi. It is complicated by the fact that Malak and Revan were great heroes of the Republic and famed Jedi Knights. But a few years later, they were leading an armada which threatened everyone. And here on Dantooine, the Jedi Enclave provoked a brutal occupation by the Sith. It could have been far worse, but even now the damage has not been fully mended. Hmm. Their hatred makes it more difficult for Jedi to help them. I don't think everyone hates Jedi. If just a few people changed their minds or spoke up, it could make a great deal of difference. I think that we need the help of the Jedi. If the Jedi's reputation isn't redeemed, the consequences could be quite regrettable. Until then, I would keep your identity secret. Of course, I'm not gonna say anything about it. Uh, what was Master Vroop doing for you? She kind of already said. He was investigating the mercenaries. Yeah. Service. We've been increasingly concerned about them. Their behavior has always been antagonistic, but recently they've been behaving differently. Vrook was investigating this when he disappeared. We were counting on any hard intelligence he could provide. Our other assets have been unavailable recently. If you find any information on the mercenaries during your stay on our planet, please report it to Zeron or myself. Okay. Can you tell me anything more? I believe I've told you everything I can. Please find and rescue Vrook. Ooh. Baron uh, believes that Zarin is up to something. Should I say that? Maybe I shouldn't. Let's ask her about work. Exit out of the conversation. See if we got any light side, dark side points. I don't think we did. Save it and then we'll ask her that in case it stirs up something I don't want to. There are plenty of opportunities to assist people on Dantooine. Too many, I'm afraid. I would go to the militia headquarters and make your intentions known there. Besides that, just listen and ask her. Okay. Journal entry added. That's fine. Damn. Damn. There's like five quests here. Okay, hang on. Um. Did I have a bad rep on Dantooine? Even worse uh, than it is in the rest of the galaxy. The secret of the Jedi Enclave. On Dantooine provoked a brutal Sith occupation during this Jedi Civil War. The rep isn't redeemed. It could lead to problems down the road. Uh, farm equipment. Uh, Baron thinks Zarin is has been provoking the mercenaries for months. It has increased the tension between the settlers and mercs. Uh, Baron has has more amiable relations with the mercs and thinks it would be everyone's best interest if Zarin stepped down. Baron is certainly is certain that Zarin is up to something but doesn't know what it is. If you could find proof that he is endangering uh, diplomacy with the uh, mercs and Baron could use to repair the damage relations between the two camps. That sounds light side to me. Uh, Master Vrook, yeah. We got permission to go to the Enclave. Okay. Let's see what happens. I hope that you haven't run. When we Is tell her about Baroon or whatever. I have no doubt that Baroon means well, but I have every confidence in Zara. I would ask you to ignore anything Baroon asked of you. He doesn't see the full scope. I have evidence? Hell no, we don't. What's going on? I realize that I'm asking you for help. But you must also know that I am the head of this nominal government. It wouldn't be appropriate for me to divulge all information to you. I have evidence? What have you learned, Jedi? Nothing, never mind. I hope that you have... Is there anything... Okay. So I, I, I'm fine to ask all that stuff. Okay. 
Uh, that's... Uh, does it here in the... With the, uh... The government. Go walking over here. I don't need to talk to him anymore. Yo. Can I loot some stuff in here? Uh... Adam... Adam Larp? Wait, was this guy in the first game? I notice you are not heavily armed. Or at least not heavily armed enough. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Adam. A simple merchant with a noble purpose. I'm pretty sure I've heard this name before. Uh, I've been played by war, cat towns, all the stuff. My mission is clear. Selling arms, right? You are astute human, and quite correct. To overcome the troubles, they must be able to defend themselves. Therefore, I offer the highest quality of weapons. I can see that. Low, low prices. Uh, let's see what you got. Sith battle suit. Ichani heavy armor. Trandoshan sword. It's not upgradable though. That sucks. But five out of sixteen damage. Damn, dude. Reich blade. Crystal bondar. Mandalorian Ripper. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I mean, he's got some decent stuff. Awareness, demolition, plus two to strength. Exchange work gloves. I think I have those already. Strength enhancer. Plus one of persuading charisma. Hmm. I could actually make that, though. Power pulse, pulser, pulsator, mark. Let's upgrade thing. So wait a minute, tell me, I got questions. He was from the first game, right? I want to look this up, but I want to ask him stuff first before I look it up. How long have you been here? Started my business here during the Jedi Civil War. Worked hard on my missions and helped the hardy settlers here. Sith invaded and killed lots of Jedi. Settlers were arrested and executed. Fortunately, I was spared, but many important sentients were not. After the war, I stayed. I stayed and helped the administrative militia provide quality weapons at low prices. As thanks, they gave me this fine office. But my mission is not done. So many cat pounds, kin wrath, and other troubles. More arms are needed to make things safe. Okay. So yeah, he was in the first game then. Because I remember laughing at his last name, LARP. Adam LARP. Was he not? He was in the first game, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, I remember him. Yeah, once you go out... Once you go out into, uh... The plains... Like, as soon as you're getting ready to go out to the plains... He's, he like, sells stuff behind his speeder bike. So yeah, he was... Oh, that's kind of cool. I remember buying uh, some like Mandalorian armor from him, or was thinking about it. We know about the Mercs. Looking for work, they get restless. If they get too restless, they are dangerous. It is best to be well armed. Nice banter, you try the same line on everyone? If it, if you have something that works, why change it? I ask. Why are there so many Kinrath and Cath hounds around? Because brave humans do not buy enough weapons. But even with my good weapons, I fear there are not enough uh, sentience to use them. 
Wild Cathans have been a problem for many years. Kin Kinrath have been burrowing and making life difficult for everyone. I sold some of my finest explosives to Zarin to blow up their caves. But they made more tunnels and more ways out. Oh, he got really mad. Traveling outside, always carry weapons. Yeah, he was very uh, upset about that line. Okay. I'll definitely probably buy something from you later on. But it's nice to see a familiar character, even if it was just a merchant. That's still pretty badass that, uh, you know, you can see that character again or familiar faces. Dun dun, looks like you would need a key card. Alright. The militia. The settlers and salvagers are always at odds. I, for one, will be glad when the ruins run dry as salvage. Oh, there's Zeron. The mercenaries have been more hostile recently. The settlers on the outskirts are scared to say anything when we visit them. I guess we'll deal with this or talk to him or whatever. I'm the militia captain here. Are you here because you're in trouble or looking for it? God damn, this guy's voice. Uh... At a spot of trouble, neither one. Can't seem to avoid getting into trouble. Looking for it for a proper price. I prefer to call it a challenge, not trouble. There is often opportunity in challenges, if you know how to look for it. I might have something for you. But first, you got any other reason for coming to Militia Headquarters? Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Nah, I don't know. I feel like leaving him as the leader is probably the dark side option, maybe. I don't know. Uh, just exploring, getting to know people. Hmm. There are better places to explore and better people to know. I'm sure you have your reasons, though. I'm sure you got questions of your own. And if you're interested, I might have some work for you. You oh. want something? Yeah, man, what do you got? I've seen a lot of visitors come through Kunda. You're the first one in a while that looks the capable sort. We have a small problem with Kinrath. Maybe you've already seen some of them. They're coming from a cave in the Kunda Plains. I'd take care of it myself, but there aren't many people in the militia. We'd lose too many men. There's a reward if you do it. If there's not enough people, maybe you should change your name and not call yourself a militia. When I think of a militia, I think of like, you know, there's, there's tons of people, right? Uh, why is this place overrun with Kinrath? Kinrath are normally just pests. Kinrath, Kinrath? Think something happened to their nest. Started near the end of the Civil War. Nobody knows for sure. Even the Athorian. And they're smart about such things. How dangerous is it? Very. The Kinrath you see on the plains aren't as tough as the ones inside the caves. They may not look much different, but they are tough. Uh, what's the reward? 2,000 credits. Oh, hell yeah. With so few settlers, lives are so much more important than credits. Is that going to give me more credits, or is that saying I don't want credits? I agree with you, but I don't barter. She important things to do. All right, all right. What do you know about the cave? We used some explosives to seal the cave a couple years back. Just made them angrier. They burrowed another entrance even closer to us. I know there are crystals in there, too. Some of the salvagers once thought about going in there to get some extra credits. Mm. Too many Kinrath, though. Cave is on the southeast side of the plains. Shouldn't be hard to find. How dangerous is it? Very. The Kinrath you see on the plains aren't as tough as the ones inside the caves. They may not look much different, but they are tough. Let's see if we can do the reward again. Two thousand. Persuade? I agree with you, but I don't... No. See what I can do, I guess. That's all I can ask. You want something? You want something? Uh, what's it? Garavik's connection to the militia? Some of the salvagers went deep into the ruins and found a lot of Jedi relics. It's the most valuable all the salvagers ever got. But all the salvagers that went down there are dead. So it seems every day or so some salvager comes claiming they're owed by such and such or that they're related. The whole thing makes me sick. Garavik says he won the whole claim in a Pazak game with the last survivor, right before he killed him. 
but that was a fair fight. I'll play some Bazaar. But nobody remembers Garavik ever playing Bazak. I just hope someone takes this blasted claim off my hands. I'm tired of those low lives pestering me. We've got real work to do. You want something? You want something, kid? Uh, Baroon asked me to investigate you. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. General questions? You really should talk to Baroon about general questions. Uh, how's the militia doing? There are more than a dozen of us, and there's too many problems. He's like, bad. People keep hoping that the Republic sends help. We gotta help ourselves. We know about the administrator? She's smart. She gets things done. The whole place would fall apart without her. Tantween isn't the center of much of anything. Our most talented people sometimes leave. Hard for someone to stay a farmer when they have the itch to do something greater. So we're lucky the administrator never went elsewhere. I bet she'd make a decent senator even. This guy's voice, man. I can't. Uh, can you tell me about Kunda? We got two more things to ask. It's our home. Might be the start of an honest capital someday. Right now, it's not much more than a swoop bike stop. Swoop bike stop? Uh, don't get me started about swoop racing, sir. How do you feel about the Mercs? I don't have anything to say about that. Alright, that's fair enough. Cave crawling. Okay. Save it. Let's see what he says about the bear it's the baroon line. What you want. Or Barun. He did, did he? What's this about? He wants to try reaching a compromise. He's concerned that you might provoke. He's got to hunt you up to something. Secret? He wants me to find some dirt so he can take your job. Damn. I know people, and that isn't like Baroon. I have no patience for people like you. We're not going to talk about this again. You want something? Oh, man. I, I messed it up, it's apparently. You. you Okay. Let's reload and see the other options. It's you again. Wait, you don't want me to be brutally honest, sir? He's concerned you might provoke the mercs. I know we don't agree on this, but he's crossing a line. He lives in his sheltered settler world. He doesn't know what some people are capable of. So he's asked you to go looking into what I'm up to. If I didn't need every last man here. Persuade lie. I think he's wrong, and I think I can help you. So they're the same thing, but if I lie to him, that's like saying, uh, I, I believe you're up to something. If I just say regular persuade, then dark side, I guess? Appreciate the offer. You want? Damn it! Can do any of that. Okay. Just reload. We won't ask him about that. We'll deal with that a little bit later, I guess. Security door. Did I go in there? Locked. Okay. One more time to this guy, real quick. Hello there. Uh, I might have cause. I might cause some trouble of my own, actually. All right. All right. Okay, let's walk over here and check this side out, and then we can leave. Dun, dun. You need a key card. Definitely want to get a key card and see what we can find in here, but uh, we'll have to come back here later. It looks like, which is fine. I don't think I could do anything with those guys right now. Oh, hey, look, there's two more guys. Salvagers are just thieves and scavengers. I can't wait until the last of them leaves. It's getting dangerous to even come to Kunda. I hear the Kinrath are attacking swoop bikes now. Oh, stupid Kinrath. Here's, a uh, Jerevik. 
Your luck is not of the hapless settler. You are the I should probably look to see if there's any. Yes. No friendly greetings are here for you. Probably look to see if um if any of these side quests that we can do right now, if that's something we want to do. But it probably doesn't look like it. Kunda. Farm equipment. Yeah, we'll get light side points for that farm equipment, it looks like. That's fine. Uh, all that. Get persuade lie. You will not get dark side points. That's odd. That is odd. Sometimes when you think that you're su you're, you're supposed to get dark side points for a dialogue choice, you don't. And that's not like a bug or anything. It's just like they didn't attach any alignment shift to that when they were making the game. Changing of the guard. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, talk to Zara. You can ask him about side quests, but you won't get anything out of it. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, we won't... We can't do anything with that, then. Yet. <sighs> no friendly greetings are here for you. Uh, do you ever learn any manners? Many of the weak are skilled in manners, but I am not weak. Do not seek to insult me again. I am done being inconvenienced by you. What? Another interruption. You must not have heard who I am. Waste. Did this guy really lock me out? Did he, well, did he even say anything? Your luck is or does it get no just locked out no matter what? I come here to speak to the militia and make them understand a truth. Something, Something of mine? Something of mine they have in their possession. It's... I am done. Oh, okay, yeah. Another interruption. He, he locks you out no you matter what. You must not have heard who I am. All right. Waste another's time. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Well, we got clearance to go to the Jedi Enclave. We got the cave to check out. So let's go get into some action. Um, go check out some stuff on the familiar planet now that we're done talking for a bit.